Hi everyone, Silver Joker here. Okay, so if you're like me, you bought a lot of silver during the dip. Uh, silver stock price has been pretty low, so that means premiums have been pretty low. And so silver has been on sale as far as I'm concerned. So I'm gonna share with you in this video why I think you're gonna be very happy that you made the decision to stack silver when you did. All right, so very quickly, I'll just tell you guys, I know I haven't made a video in a while. I told you guys in my last video, I've been working on some changes to my channel, I've made some significant changes. I think you guys will find very interesting in the way that I present the information to you guys, as well as a new look for my channel. Now I've lost a few subscribers <laughs> in my absence, but I think that I'll earn those um, subscribers back. But if not, I hope you'll tune in every now and then to see what I'm uh, presenting. But I think you guys are gonna be real happy with the changes I've made to kind of make my channel a little more interesting and bring some information to you guys in a more engaging way. But anyway, let's get on with this. When there's nervousness in the market, when things are not going as well economically, and when there's a lot of things going on in the world, a lot of turmoil in the world, Silver, well, all the precious metals, but silver being the most affordable as far as I'm concerned, tends to be a little more sought after. And I think we've had this lull in um, interest in silver. A lot of the local coin stores that I visit, more, there are pe more people are selling their silver than buying silver at this point. That happens, we've been through that before. Uh, people like myself, long-term stackers, we buy silver during the dip. When silver goes down in value, or I should say down in price, because it'll never go down in value as far as I'm concerned, because of course you guys know that for me, value is a personal thing. And when silver is low in price, that means it's on sale as far as I'm concerned, and I buy it. Now, with the things going on around the world right now, I think we're going to see an uptick in the price of physical silver and all the precious metals because it is a safe haven asset. It's where people go when they're a little nervous about the dollar, when they're a little nervous about their fiat currency, their economy. And so there's a lot of nervousness, I believe, right now. You gotta do is look at the news and you'll see a lot of nervousness right now. So I think people are going to start to buy more precious metals. And when that happens, the price goes up. And if you bought silver during the dip, like many of us have, I think you're gonna be very satisfied with that decision because I believe silver is going to go up. Uh, it's gonna be a little bit more expensive to buy than it has been lately. And so I'm not gonna stop buying it. It doesn't matter to me where the price of silver goes. I value my silver in another way. My, the value of my silver is not in monetary means. I don't value my silver in how much I can get for it when I go to sell it. I value my silver in pure volume. Whatever it costs to build that volume, then I'm willing to pay that. I just have to adjust my budget. Sometimes I can buy a little more, sometimes I gotta buy a little less, but I'm gonna continue to buy it because my goals are reached with how many ounces I can accumulate. And I made a video about that and I'll leave a link to that video in the description it's gonna be a little controversial for some of you guys, I know, but I think you'll find it very interesting and entertaining. But anyway, tell me what you think in the comments. Do you believe that silver is a safe haven asset? Are you buying it to protect your wealth? Are you buying it because you think maybe something's gonna happen with our economy, you'll need it because the fiat currency is not gonna be as valuable? But just tell me in the comments what you think. I'll be happy to read it, and I think I'll find the more interesting ones and we'll talk about that in a future video because I think it's important that we understand that the, the value of silver is gonna be different for each person. So if you're selling your silver because you think that the value is low and it's only gonna go lower, that's one thing. If you're selling your silver because you need to sell your silver because of whatever financial burden you find yourself in, that's another thing. 
But if you're selling yourself because of the rhetoric, because of the comments and the commentary on YouTube and other platforms about the value of silver, then that's an entirely different thing. And I think what my channel is gonna talk about in the future is dealing with that type of information. Now look, I am absolutely no expert when it comes to the market movements, how silver plays a part in that, but there's other information that I know something personally about from buying physical silver with my own money and adding it to my stack. And I wanna be clear about something. I'm not gonna challenge anyone's beliefs. You believe what you believe based on whatever information that you acquire, whatever research you do. But I may challenge some of the information that's out there because I think it's important, especially for us YouTube content providers who have been doing this for a while and we've discovered certain things that work and certain things that don't work. And I think it's important that we share those with you guys, not to try to influence your decision either way, but just give you a little something more to think about. I mean, information is power. And the more information you have, the more different points of view that you have access to, I think makes it a better environment for decision making. And so that's what I'm gonna do. I've been a little timid about calling certain information out, not certain people or certain channels or anything like that. I'm not gonna get into that, but certain information that's being presented, I think I've been a little timid about challenging some of the information out there directly. And I think I need to do more of that, even at the cost of subscribers. Because really, what am I on YouTube for? Why do I make content and present it here in the YouTube Silverstein community? Are we on YouTube just to simply show you guys our silver, to tell you guys how much silver we got and tell you about our goals? And if that is the reason, then it's not really benefiting you. Of course, it's motivational, but we need to also challenge those ideas and that information that's out there that we know is false. And there's a lot of information out there that is blatantly false. You know, I, I can't really call myself a YouTube silver stacking content provider who's giving you information that you can use if I don't challenge these things. And so that's coming up in the future. Even if it costs me <laughs> a few subscribers, that's okay, uh, but it's got to be done. I mean, I feel like this is important, and so that's what I'm going to do. So anyway, just want to let you guys know that more good content coming up. Look, if you bought silver during the dip, I think you're going to be very happy about that. I think silver is going to go up. Now, this is strictly my opinion, just based on some of the experiences I've had stacking silver for almost 15 years. And I think that uh, just from what I see, I think silver is going to tip, you know, going to tick up a little bit. Man, I think you're going to be happy that you put that silver away. But we'll see. I'm going to continue to buy it. You know, I'm going to have to adjust my budget. I'm going to continue to buy it. But I think we're going to be happy that we did buy it. Anyway, tell me what you think in the comments. Appreciate you guys stopping by. Uh, we're going to get back to more regular scheduled posts as soon as I get a lot of this stuff worked out. You know, I have a YouTube channel, plus I have... Um, other responsibilities that I must attend to. And so YouTube is something that I do in my spare time. I wish I could do it full time as a job because I love it so much, but you know, it can't pay my bills, <laughs> at least right now. But anyway, I appreciate you guys stopping by. Let's just keep the silver train rolling. More good content coming up. Keep stacking. Peace.